Organizers protesting BTU's cutoffs and fees stepped out again this evening, this time hoping to be seen and heard directly by city leaders. We're not asking for a handout, we're asking for a hand up. A small but persistent group in front of City mm -hmm. Hall today. Let them pay their bill, but let's cut off the fees. Once again asking BTU to stop disconnecting services until there are no positive COVID-19 cases in the area and to permanently end disconnect fees, reconnect fees, and additional deposit payments when service is disconnected. This time, directly trying to get the attention of city leaders and BTU, yeah. saying there's no reason not to listen. City Council can eliminate these penalties really easily. It's City Ordinance 2226, which says that families who get disconnected have to pay these large amounts of money. We're asking that they put it on their agenda for next week's City Council meeting and that they replace City Ordinance 2226 with a new City Ordinance that gets rid of the disconnection fee, the reconnection fee, and all the extra deposit payments. That City Ordinance also says that those large deposits paid for disconnections are refunded if certain criteria are met. Rafael helped Dan organize today's protest. And to him, organizers aren't looking for a free lunch. I'm not asking that everybody pay their bill for them. I'm just asking that the city show a little compassion and waive some of these fees so they can get on a payment plan and get back on track. We reached out to the city of Bryan, who wasn't able to comment today. But for now, and we're working in concert with the other nonprofits. That these protesters are waiting to be heard. Organizers have raised more than $17,000 in a GoFundMe to pay for those struggling with their utilities in the area.